Uh, joining me right now is Mr. M. L. Mittal, Managing Director of the company, uh, right here in my studios. Mr. Mittal, thank you very much for your time. Good to have you with us here. Thank you. Uh, let's just introduce the company to our viewers. So, Bharat Wire Ropes, can you just give a brief background? How old is the company? Uh, you've been operating, you've been running the company since when? What does the company do? Just some of the very basics first. Yeah, this company is uh, Bharat Wire Rope Limited, 29 years old company. Mm. 1992 it is set up. Mm. I acquired this company in 2011. I okay. was part of Westman Group for 25 years. Well, I director of finance. Right. Yeah. Okay. Mm. I acquired in 2011. This company manufacturing wire rope, mm. used for elevators, mm. cranes, mm. shipping, mm. mining, power sectors, mm -hmm. defense, railway, mm -hmm. various applications, almost 20 diversified industrial use of this rope. Mm -hmm. So 2011, I acquired this company. Mm -hmm. And now we are going for mega project at Chinese Gaon, mm -hmm. which is uh, almost 500 crores uh, capex to set up a complete integrated plant from wire to wire ropes. Mm -hmm. OK. Uh, so, OK, you acquired this in 2011. Now you, you're coming to the market to raise money to set up a new plant. Yeah. The money is going to be used to set up a new plant in Maharashtra, right? Yeah. Uh, what is the existing? Uh, do you, so this is uh, this company has got one plant right now? Right now, this company got plant at uh, Adgaon, mm -hmm. which is a part of Bombay, almost is around 80 kilometers from Bombay. Mm. New plant will be at Chalisgaon, which is 330 kilometers uh, from Bombay. Okay. And this uh, issue proceed will be used for part financing the project only. Okay. As of now, the company, uh, the, the, the plant makes wires and wire ropes both or uh, right now the company makes wire rope mainly wire we are outsourcing from the various uh, suppliers in the uh, india plus uh, can you we, make it, uh, tell us the difference between wires and wire ropes wires uh, we just uh, you know purchase from the various suppliers in the country hmm. and these are steel wires steel wire right and then we go for standing and closing okay standing closing is a two process uh -huh. first we twist the wire make the strand uh -huh. and multiple strands make the wire rope Okay. So that is the process. Okay. Going forward, we will be manufacturing wire also from wire road. Wire road is a thick wire. Uh -huh. We draw the wire, uh -huh. go for heat process, pickling, patenting, drawing again, and then making strand and wire ropes. Uh -huh. So almost seven process involved in the new plant. Where existing plant, we have only two process, stranding and closing. Uh -huh. So that's why this integration plant is a quite big, minimum economic size of scale is 50,000 plus. Uh -huh if you want to manufacture the good quality of wire ropes. Uh -huh. Because in India, uh -huh. there is no supply, good wire suppliers, mainly the 2160 grade, 1960 uh -huh. grade, which is required to manufacture high-end wire ropes. Uh -huh. In the India, if you see, maximum high-end wire ropes are imported. Uh -huh. And going forward, we will be able to supply all higher-end wire ropes ourselves only. What is the capacity of the existing plant, sir? Right now, our capacity is 12,000 tons. Mm. Going forward, it will be 78,000 tons, including expansion. After the new plant is yeah. ready, it will be uh, yeah. 78,000 70, tons. 66,000 new plant we are putting up at Charlie's Gown. Okay. Uh, w what are, uh, this is, it seems like a commodity, pure commodity business, right? No, sir, this is a, not commodity, this is a highly technical, uh -huh. value added product. Uh -huh. Because what a, what our, a, our raw material is steel, which is commodity. Right. So we are a steel consumer. Uh -huh. And, and then we are you going add to, value to it. We are going to add value. So this highly technical involved, you know, process involved in this to sure. make the wire rope. What are margins, sir, uh, in the business? I'm sorry that uh, because of historical the, margins. I mean, I'm talking about you don't historical have historical margin. Yeah. Right, since we, I told you that we are having only two process at present: mm. straining and closing. Mm. So margins are around 14 percent EBITDA. Mm. Going forward, we'll have seven process of the complete wire rope manufacturing. Mm. So margin will be accordingly much, much higher. 14% is not bad at all. <laughs> no, 14% in the wire. We are not talking commodity. We are talking right. the highly sure. technical. No, so just product. one uh, technical point. Yeah. Uh, you still make wire ropes. Yeah. In the new plant, you will make wire ropes, but high end wire ropes essentially. We'll right? make all type of wire ropes, uh, wire ropes required uh -huh. across you know industries. Okay. Almost okay. 26 industry will be using wire ropes. Can you tell me which is the biggest uh, consuming industry? Uh, Engin engineering industries are using. Uh -huh. Elevators in industry, shipping, uh -huh. mining, uh, oil and gas sectors, okay. railways, defense. A okay. lot of industry is using, almost 26 industries are using wire ropes. Okay. What is the annual consumption of wire ropes in the country? 
the statistics not available of this particular segment. However, as per rough estimates, it should be around 2 lakh tons per annum plus. 2 lakh tons? Yeah. And uh, which is the biggest player right now? In India, there's hardly any players except one company. There's no players. All are small, small. Uh -huh. We are having 12,000 tons capacity. Uh -huh. But going forward, we'll be one of the major players in this is, segment. Does Usha Martin uh, uh, do the same thing? Yeah, they they have the one biggest. division of Europe. They are doing the same thing. What is their capacity? The capacity, I'm not aware of exact numbers, but they are quite big right now, number-wise. They are okay. number one right now in India. But if the total capacity, total consumption is about 2 lakh, uh, two lakh tons, right? Yeah. You will, you will be about 78,000 yourself? Yeah, 78,000. Okay. Uh, is, are there a lot of imports as well in the uh, sector right now? Yeah, high-end ropes are imported. Uh -huh. Even the lower end also imported. But going forward, we'll have the upper end. Uh -huh. We have 12.5% wet subsidy from government of Maharashtra, okay. number one. Can you explain that? What is the subsidy for? Whatever sales will be taking place from new plant, okay. we'll get 12.5% wet refund, which okay. is substantial saving and substantial cost reduction process. Okay. Second, so, we are so buying. If, I, the, if, I, if you if you if there are sales worth hundred rupees, yeah, you get a refund for twelve and a half rupees. Twelve and a half rupees. Okay, go Second, on. Second, we are buying the world class equipment uh -huh. from Germany, Korea, and India, uh -huh. and we can compete anybody globally. So far, quality is concerned, uh -huh. and cost wise, we'll be competitive because twelve point five percent is the wet refund. Second, the labor cost will be much lower as sure. compared to international How market. long is the subsidy for, sir? This is a maximum 12 years. 12 years. Uh, but 100 percent of the capex, uh -huh. eligible capital as assets, uh -huh. will be getting subsidy. So there are two ceilings. One is 12 years, other is a uh, total capex, uh, eligible cap capex. Okay. So Apart from this, we'll so get… You, you, uh, can, you can choose either or, essentially. No. If it is over, so let us see within five years, then we'll finish. Uh -huh. We have limit up to 12 years. We can okay. use this within 12 years' time. Okay. And apart from this, we have 9.3 percent electricity duty exemption uh -huh. for 12 years, uh -huh. and for financing and other things, there is no STEM duty. Mm -hmm. So the three major benefit, fiscal benefit from government of Maharashtra. Mm -hmm. Okay, and this is basically because of the location the plant is yeah, set yeah, up in. You were telling me before yeah. we started the interview, this falls in D zone. Yeah, yeah. Okay, fair enough. Uh, now. Uh, you, do you have the land already or you, uh, you, you have all that? We got land from the oh. MIDC, uh -huh. 64 acre land allotted okay. and uh, construction work started last year. Mm -hmm. It's full string, almost uh, civil work almost near completions mm. and machinery erection already started. Mm. We have German and the Korean uh, erectors at site. Mm. So we are quite confident that by December 2016, we'll mm. able to start full production. Mm -hmm. December 2016? Yes, sir. Uh, okay. So that's… Not very far from, yeah, from in, here. Yeah. In fact, uh, part production will start the trial and other thing in this uh -huh. uh, day after two months, three months. Is, is, is some portion of the construction already done? Or, uh, yeah, you major, just you majority construction is done. Uh -huh. The civil construction. Civil construction. Uh -huh. And, you know, many equipments also arrived at site. Erection is going on. Okay. Okay. Fair enough. Uh, so, you said you acquired the company in 2011. How, yeah. much, how much do you own uh, in terms of equity? We own 88% right now. 88%? Yeah. And this issue is uh, of completely a fresh equity? It's fresh equity. Okay. So, you're raising 70 crores? Yeah. And uh, you'll… you'll uh, how much… How, this entire 70 will go into the capex? Yeah. Uh, in the in the new plant? New plant. Okay. Fair enough. I, I know that you can't comment about uh, forward-looking numbers, but could you give us some idea about the size? You uh, We know the capacity. You're saying margins would be much better than 14 odd percent that you have in the existing plant. Some broad numbers yeah, uh, for our See, view. you know that uh, steel is a very commodity item. You know that around 30 to 30,000 rupees is the steel price. Mm. And rope price, yes, ballpark number, if I say 90 to 250 rupees will be our selling price. Mm. So you can just estimate that uh, what will be numbers. I cannot give because uh, we don't allow to. Rope speak wires between 90 wire and 250. Yeah, yeah, depend upon qualities and thickness. Uh -huh. There are a lot of parameters uh, involved in the pricing front. Okay. So, so, can I take a median number to calculate <laughs> based on… because I know the capacity uh, or no? That it, would, that it's difficult to reply at this juncture. Okay. Okay. Uh, fair enough. Uh, so, in terms of EPS, what, what would the number look like? Again, you, I know you can't be specific. Yeah. But I've, I've heard some pretty large numbers. <laughs> By uh, uh, so you're saying by financially 18, for example, what yeah. would numbers look like? Your last reported year number uh, EPS was about 60, 66 paise or so, right? Yeah. 
what would what what would that look uh, look like going See, forward? See, existing operations, as I explained you, that we only two process mm. out of seven process for the good quality wire manufacturing. Mm. So existing EPS is not relevant. We are talking and we are raising money for the greenfield project, mm. where we are going to put up entire chain of the process mm. from wire road to the finished product. Mm. So all the economics will be totally different, mm. not linked with the past working. Mm. Okay, fair enough. Uh, we leave it there. Mr. Mittal, thank you. Good luck. Appreciate you joining us and uh, you. good getting that uh, from you. Thank you. Thank you.